Hi everyone. Welcome to I guess my first show, video, whatever for YouTube or wherever the hell this gets watched at. But anyway, hey everybody. Thanks for even looking if you're taking your time to look at this. Um, this is all new to me. Uh, I'm going to talk about movies and anything. It's variety. If you got an idea, whatever, just hit me up and, and, and let's just throw shit at the wall and see what turd sticks. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da. But anyway, um, I'm going to talk about movies. I'm a big movie and nut. And uh, today's movie, I guess, will be the beautiful directed by Frank Henenlotter starring Kevin Van Hentenrick, Beverly Bonner, and some other wonderful people. The wonderful Basket Case. This is the movie that made me the monster I am today. I love, love, love exploitation, low-budget B-cult, all that drive-in, that this, that big ball, exploitation, black exploitation, all the exploitations. And, and I have always called this the last of the great exploitation movies. I was lucky enough as a little kid to see this. Snuck into a theater and it changed my life. This movie really did uh, change my life. It's playing back there. So I grew up on late night TVs and watching horror movies. And, you know, just like a lot of us that like this stuff. When I was a little kid, I snuck in. I used to sneak into a theater, and I didn't give a shit about whether or not um, you were old enough to watch the movies. And it, even if it was someone selling tickets who did, I'd just buy a ticket for whatever and watch whatever. But point being, I went in and I watched Basket Case, and it, I'd never seen anything like it on the screen. And uh, it just blew me away from beginning to end. It was just wonderful. And... Uh, at the end of this movie, the very end of the uh, end credits, it's dedicated to the godfather of gore, Herschel Gordon Lewis, which is a whole world, and I'll talk about that some other time, a lot of his stuff, and there's a whole connection to Frank Henenlotter, director of Basket Case, uh, the company which is uh, something weird video, the greatest guys and gals if you're looking for things that are not mainstream, some things that never even made it to VHS, these guys are savers of cinema, and Frank Kennenlotter is a big part of this. So, you know, something weird video, tell them I sent you. Lisa, I just plugged you. Hey! But, um, something weird video, they also have the Herschel Gordon Lewis movies, all that. But when I saw Herschel Gordon Lewis, I had to find out who this guy was, and I looked into him, and it opened a whole uh, world of exploitation, and, it, and a world I still just roll around in like a pig and shit. I, I, there's so much I still need to see, and I'll probably never even see all this stuff, and it's killing me. Um, it just made me, it just, what a world it opened. Anyway, this is a fabulous movie. It opened the world up of, of, of all this exploitation, which leads me to knowing about 42nd Street and all the, the you know, grind houses and porn shops and porn theaters and exploitation theaters and theaters running Italian things and, and, and kung fu and horror and cheapies and all the just... A street filled with nothing but theaters of, of, of sleaze and greatness and horror and wonders to a sick head like me. Uh, so, you know, Basket Case, and this is a Blu-ray, and that's wonderful. The greatest Blu-ray I've ever owned in my life and ever will. Great job, Frank Hennenlotter. But, um, man, uh, uh, clean up your DVDs, give them all that digital credit, do whatever you want to do. That's nice and dandy, and this, this one's treated the way a movie like this should be treated and I won't even get into all that this perfect treatment for this movie um, but this movie it, it's it seems like a lot of people have forgotten or don't get or don't remember 
basket case is, is truly a, a time capsule, a time capsule of, of uh, cinema, a time capsule of the period it was shot in New York on those, you know, the locations it was shot in, they're gone. None of that exists anymore. That, that area is so, I've never even been to New York. I'm talking like I've been there. I've not, but I've done my history and you know, the whole cinema exploitation circuit. So anyway, this is a big part of it. Uh, but it's all gone now, and, and uh, Basket Case was shot right there on the streets. Real pimps, real hoes, real drug dealers, real theaters, real billboards, and, and, and real marquees with uh, 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 real movies that we all know and have heard of and seen and love. Uh, but uh, Basket Case... It's such an important, special movie to me, so that's why I'll open with it. I guess I'll quit waxing the whole nostalgia and uh, looking back at the childhood. I'm about to die. I better look back at the childhood. So, anyway, um, Basket Case is a very low-budget little movie that Frank Henenlotter, who is a man that is just so knowledgeable about all this exploitation stuff, um, he made this movie basically because he grew up laying out of high school and going and watching these movies in New York and, and watching all this great exploitation shit in the theaters. And um, he wanted to make one. His big thing is, I want to make one that'll run the midnight circuit in New York, you know. And uh, he made this thing for very little money. Very little money. This is a handmade, great, great movie. And... Um, it got distribution, got a little run, but they cut out the very gory parts, or they cut them down anyway. And I was going to let this thing kind of maybe run as a black comedy. Didn't really pull it. Legendary critic, TV show host, Joe Bob Briggs, uh, he kind of saved this movie in a way. Uh, he saw it, he championed it, and he got a print of it, ran, he refused, he was going to be at a, a showing of it, and, and, and have a showing, whatever, uh, I suppose in Texas, and uh, I can't remember, but anyway, uh, he wouldn't run this unless they ran the uh, unrated print, the unrated print ran, and uh, you know, people loved it, because you know, wow, tits, gore, violence, yay, and um, there you go. Basket case. Joe Bob Briggs approves. How can you not? <coughs> so, uh, this is a movie about Dwayne and Bilal Bradley, twin brothers, Siamese twin brothers that were separated at birth by three doctors in a little backroom illegal um, unauthorized operation because no doctors would separate them. They're Siamese twins, joined at the side. Uh, their mother died at birth. Their father hates Bilal, who is the more twisted brother, the twin, the mutated, kind of twisted, deformed, I guess. He's a deformed twin brother. So uh, he has him cut off of his brother uh, against his will and thrown out in the trash. Yet he didn't die. I'm not going to get into this whole thing, so you you know watch this movie. It's just fabulous. But uh, let's just say um, when they grow up, they take a little visit to New York to find the uh, three doctors, or well, two left, that separated them to get revenge for separating them when they didn't want to be separated. But um, a wonderful wonderful fucking job of Kevin Van Hintenrick as Dwayne, the innocent new to the big city Dwayne Bradley he is such a genuine innocent character and you really believe and we know the character Dwayne loves his brother and Bilal his brother loves him, Bilal was uh a little tempered at Dwayne. Uh, there's a little bit of a confusion when it comes to relationships, it seems. But, uh, 
had Bilal's not a fan of doctors. Bilal doesn't like to be seen. He stays in his basket, minds his business. Come on, cut the guy a break. But anyway, uh, this is a great movie. Directed by Frank uh, Henenlotter. Beverly Bonner's in this as Casey. Everybody loves Beverly. Beverly's great. I love this woman. Um, she still does comedy, comedy shows on stage. Uh, check into her, check her out. Book her, do what you can do. But um, Beverly Bonner is, is just a sweetie anytime I've communicated with her, and so is Kevin. And Frank Henenlotter is just the greatest damn guy. I try not to bother these people because I don't want to be a crazy fan. But, uh, boy, all three of those people have been really, really nice. Um, Basket Case spawned two sequels, Basket Case 2 and Basket Case 3, which are both fucking great. Better budget. Few little differences, not much. Still follows the uh, story. Everything's great. Solid, fun movies. I love three. I know Hen and Lauder, Frank Hen and Lauder's down on three, and I understand why because things were changing in the world and in the movie world and, and, the, and the production, you know, got yanked around with, uh, for reasons. But um, there was a birth scene I wish would have gotten fully, you know, finished. It, it was just. Part three was supposed to have been nothing but a gore fest, and the effects aren't even fully finished in the final product. But it's still a great, fun movie, and we get everybody that, that we want to know and see and love and all that. But I'll talk about two and three uh, different if you guys dig this or whatever and lock basket case. But uh, I guess I should shut my big, fat, flappy mouth. But basket case. Give it a look. Over there it is. See? Hey, look. Basket case. Uh, Direct by Frank Cannon Lauder. Available from Something Weird Video. Whole story and connections with all that and this movie. Frank Cannon Lauder. Great, fascinating stories I'll save uh, for later. But uh, Something Weird Video. Basket case. 1982. Directed by Frank Henenlotter, starring Kevin Van Hentenrich and the wonderful Beverly Bonner. Great jobs by all. This movie was meant to be nothing but a midnight movie for a very short period of time. And I'm sitting here in 2018 holding a beautiful Blu-ray of this movie, talking about it to you guys on the beautiful internet. Says something. Even Frank Henenlotter himself gives this movie a hard time, and I've even spoke to him online saying, Hey, Frank, get off this movie's ass. Hey, Frank, if you, by chance, have the unfortunate luck to see this video, get off this movie's ass. It's wonderful. Uh, this movie, by the way, in 2017, was just inducted into the Museum of Modern Art. Again, something great to be said about this wonderful, wonderful movie. Basket Case, a movie that really changed my life and a movie that, uh, you know, made me the monster I am today. Uh, this is a very important movie to me. Uh, uh, my favorite, one of my favorite, top three movies easily, if not you know, top two, if not number one. Uh, thanks everybody that made this. Thanks everybody that created this movie. Uh, shit. Thanks to the people who gave birth to the people who created this wonderful movie because without all that, I would have never known about the great, great, shitty, bad cinema that I want to talk about on these videos. So, you can blame Frank Henenlotter and Basket Case for the shitty movies I'm about to talk about throughout all these videos. And hey, there's going to be a lot of other things hopefully happening in these videos too. Crazy nutties. Um, hopefully some fun people, some good characters should be stopping by, let's hope. Uh, and I might even do some full frontal nudity. Now, ladies, prepare yourselves for that. All right. So, basket case, full frontal nudity. This is my first video, so forgive me for being...
kind of boring and useless and not good at this. But hey, if you did look at this, thank you guys very much for looking. Basket case, Frank Hennenlager.